good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. I've got my good friends, Becky, Vicki, and Kathy with me. And we have a great topic. But before we get started, as always, let's start with prayer. Let's take a breath together and turn within. Father, Mother, God, we are so grateful for fellowship and connection. What a wonderful world it is where we can be together no matter where we are. God, it reminds us that in spirit, we are always united, always one, and together we come rejoicing. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 That felt good. We are always connected, aren't we? So my topic is from the book Conscious Living by Gay Hendricks. I've used this book before. It is so rich in information. And today I found something in chapter five, the foundation of self-esteem that I would love to share and kind of get everybody's opinion on. So bear with me. I'm going to, of course, read a little bit. Discovering who you are. All of us needs to know who we really are. Knowing ourselves is the first step towards feeling organically good inside. If we're out of touch with our feelings and our needs, not to mention grander issues like soul and essence and life purpose, we don't feel good. If we can't feel good by natural means, we're ripe for the picking by the cult leader, the gang lord, the advertising industry, and the drug seller, the one who operates the corner drugstore or the one who operates the street corner itself. So it goes on to talk about how important it is to discover who you are and do so fearlessly when you find out you're not who you want to be, then you start to change that. And when your reflection shows who you really want to be, there's your self-esteem. The author talks about how nobody else can give you that self-esteem. So I found so much in this particular chapter and the book to really relate to. We as a culture and a society really work hard to build up the self-esteem of kids in school. Everybody gets awards. Everybody gets a chance to be the top dog. <clears throat> and yet anxiety and depression in children is at the highest level that we've ever seen as a culture to my understanding. And it seems like there's a disconnect there. It seems like society is trying to build up self-esteem from the outside when I know for me, it really came from overcoming the challenges and the hurdles that I walked through. Most of them I created myself, okay, honest, honesty there. But by being able to slay the dragon, get into recovery, change my habits, become honest, that's where my self-esteem came from. And personally, I worry that if we don't challenge our kids and give them an opportunity to make mistakes, get messy, and, and find their way out of the, the loop, that we aren't building self-esteem. So a lot of good information. I'm going to be quiet, and I so want to hear what my friends have to say. I'll comment on that. Um, what I think about when you talked about, you know, how we aren't allowing our children to make those mistakes that we all need, it's like we put a bubble around them uh, because we we suffered so many things as our as children ourselves that we don't want them to go through that. So we can sort of put a bubble around them thinking we're helping them, but in reality, uh, we're not. We're preventing them from uh, the opportunities from growth. Um, it reminds me when my first two sons were 15 and a half and they were going to be able to start driving, 
and their dad said, well, you know, I get you a used uh, car, uh, but you got to pay for the insurance for the first time. And so they did. They got a job working at a gas station and a pet store and, and they had the, had the money. So for my third child is nine years younger. So I'm in a different place then. And then I'm married to my husband and he, my son, he's, he lives with us and he's a straight A student. He's up late studying every nine. He hits 15 and a half. And we said, okay. Um, he said, you know, so my husband said, yeah, you know, if, if it's no problem. I've, I own a company. We got a bunch of cars that you can give you. And, and I said, well, he has to pay for his insurance. And, and my husband said, oh, no, he, he doesn't. He works so hard. He studies and, you know, and he, he's a straight A student. We can pay for that. And I said, but we would be denying him the, the, the wonderful feeling that his brothers got when they got to come up with that check and pay for that insurance. I don't want to deny him that opportunity. And so with that, he got a job in a photography store. He ended up with his love for photography. He became the school photographer in his senior year and took pictures of the football games and whatnot. So it really was an enhancement. But that to me is just uh, an example of uh, uh, removing the bubble and, and letting them uh, children go through. That wasn't really a challenge, but it was something that uh, was beneficial to his self-esteem. So that's what I, that's what I think of. That's wonderful. There's a lot of uh, information in that for sure. And um, <clears throat> I, you know, I, and I think I, I agree with Kathy too, that sometimes because we've been through so much, um, we kind of have a tendency, at least I do, I speak in the eye, had a tendency to not want to have my kids to have to struggle. But at the same time, they have to build that self-esteem. And self-esteem is so fragile. And, you know, <clears throat> you said in there that it said that you have to be able to know who you are. And that's how you build your self-esteem. Well, you know, knowing who you are is an ever-changing thing. It's like it's there and then it's not. It's, uh, you know, so... I feel like in my recovery in my, and in my life, I've kind of, that, that knowing who I am has changed. So therefore, am I measuring my self-esteem against that or, or what? And then just recently I saw a quote online, something about, about um, if I had to bet on myself, I would, because a hundred percent of the time I came out of it and okay. That didn't mean I didn't get scuffed or, you know, or have problems or whatever, but it just means that hundred percent of the time I made it through. So I'm grateful for that. Um, so that's what I have to share on it. If anybody else has anything to say, cause I think we lost Vicki on this call. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch her on the next one. Do you guys have anything else you want to add? All right. So let me pray us out then. Let's just take a breath together. As we say, father, mother, God, thank you so much for this topic, because we know that self-esteem is, is, uh, a, Ch you know, we're chasing it and we're we're looking for it and we, but we know that it's not from the outside it's from the inside out and we know that we gain it by by practicing it and and for those out there that are feeling that um they're they need to work on their self-esteem you know prayer is a great powerful tool to help learn about yourself and who you are and I use it all the time in that way. And I know my partners do too here. So help them to pray and understand, help them to understand who they are, what they want in this life, where they want to go with it, and then help them build the confidence, the self-esteem to be all that they wish to be in the world and stand with them, God, as they do this. And for all that you do for us, we want to say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, watch our presentations. Join us live and in person. We're so grateful that you that you took the time out to spend with us. And we hope that you have a very blessed day. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. And let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook. Search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon.
Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.